uh, this playthrough very shortly, and then post that, uh, we will do D, which I believe it's the same as C. I think we have to get through two hours of me blastering through the world again, um, which is a bit frustrating. I don't know why they've made this change. Um, there must be some ending D unique element to going through the game, which I'll have to try and figure out what that is. And uh, there certainly wasn't much in C is what I'll say. Um, they teased one or two things, which are pretty big deal. Um, but, uh, well, there's also, also of course, the, uh, the, the stuff with Popola and Davola, which was fun. But, yeah. Anyway, it's a sunny day. I'm enjoying it blasting through my window. And I'm gonna just jump straight in to Nia. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think it's gonna be... A bit of comfy day today. Less rock and roll. Though I just want to complete playing Digimon, honestly. I've just, I realize that I, I'm so close to, like, I'm trying to get through as much XP as I can um, on the side here, but that's what I might do. I might, every now and then, I'll just start some uh, thingy on the side. Shabba dabba do, shabba dabba gooba like amiibo, amiibo, labo, labo actually comes from a song. Really? <laughs> I would never know. I feel like there's a link on its way, maybe. But yeah, as I said, we're at the top of the shadow, uh, the shrine. Um, we're still in Japanese. We're still wearing our samurai outfits. We're being warning that this is the point of no return. Let's see if there's anything different in C. So yeah, plan is for today is to try and, and just play near to get as much done as possible. I may be able to get ending C and D done in the first half of today. And if so, then ending E uh, or whatever is a beyond um, will be just in front of us, hopefully. I really like this song, by the way. I've never really inspected these statues. I think they're just, I think they're just women. I don't think there's anything special about them. I don't think they're Popola and Dvola either because their haircuts are completely different. It seems to be the same statue too. It might be meant to be referential to Popola and Devola. I mean, it is their garden, I guess, but. Whoa. I know that voice actor. Why is he the birds? Why did humans disappear from the world? Because of the black disease. Why did they extend their li how'd they extend their life? Separating body and soul. What is the destination of the soul? Be put in their corresponding shells. And here we are. Papola and Devola again. Now. It's very weird to play this game where we just jump straight back in, where it's like we've seen this before. Um, full line. Labo, labo, dabba, do, gubu, glug, 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 glubble, blabble, o tongue twister. God. Is this like a children's song, Selmas? I don't understand. Which, um, which spell do I have? Plants, okay. Alright, we might, uh, we might switch spell. Okay, so there's no way for me to change spells that quickly like that. So I have to go... Wall. Wall it is. So, as we've talked about before, I won't be able to kill these two too fast. I'm just going to set them up for uh, their correct health range for the transition. I mean, it could be. Mm. You can see every now and then when it, they break through their line of dog dialogue and I'm allowed to like do more damage. I kind of wish this game had more humanoid bosses. Or just, I don't know. Like, Popola and Devola are fun to fight. And I kind of wish there was it was a bigger fight. 
Oh, they removed my shield. What is this shit? Oh man, it's so strange to hear the mage's voice, like here. Because, so for those who've never seen, so we've got the game in currently in Japanese, which wasn't available to us in the West, and I kind of, I wanted to do a playthrough where it was in Japanese, and I've been enjoying it. Like, it's interesting to hear the different voices. Oh look, transition, there we go. And I, if, I kind of wish I did a, a full playthrough, if I did B in Japanese, I should have done B in Japanese in a sense. <laughs> Oh my god, Devala's laugh. Because uh, I'm still on the road of just skipping cutscenes. So, interesting thing is, you know, since we've climbed that shrine, and we climbed through, and we went through the door, We've actually ended up somewhere which I haven't really pointed out till this point, which is oh my gosh. <laughs> hey baby. Hey BB. How you doing, Armin? Thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it. Shit, ten months. I can't believe that some of you have been sub for almost a year. This is madness to me. You guys are insane. Thank you, Armin. Welcome on in. I was, I was literally just pointing out, so we're actually in ruins of Tokyo here, or ruins of a city. I'm fairly sure we're meant to be in Tokyo. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Uh, Al. Oh, am I gonna, hang on. Chat, are we gonna make Al shout uh, themselves out? Is that what we're gonna do here? Welcome in, Al. How you doing? Owl, I got first. Ha, ha. <laughs> Lathera, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh my god. Thank you for the raid, Al. Al. Oh, double, double shout out. So, welcome in. We're, we're doing uh, the C playthrough of Nia. How are you guys going? I um, just came in with the 10 months, which is crazy. Um, I'm beating up... Shades in a castle. I just had to flex on Al as one does. How was your stream, Al? What were you doing? I, oh, you're playing Fortnite. No, Al. You're playing Fortnite. How'd this happen? Is it, this better not be in some weird preparation for me? I can confirm. I can confirm. Man, the Phoenix Sphere just, just wrecking shop as always. Whoop. Yeah, we're gonna just blast through this castle. And uh, be able to see ending C's unique elements, which would be nice. <laughs> Every now and then my mods remember that they can do stuff. Every now and then. Not all the time, but sometimes. Sometimes you get treated by a little with a little time out. It is a it is a rare treat on my channel. <laughs> Crazy, I know, right? Dude bro. <laughs> I love casting shield on top of enemies. And it's just they just die. They just go flying. This is, this is the one part in the game that I think is a little annoying because it's just doing this over and over where it's just the same fight with armored dudes over and over. This is why I run the, uh, the Phoenix Spear because it just, it, it speeds up everything just so substantially. Like I can just hold, uh, hold square and I just win. Especially if they start an attack sequence. Where'd the ghost go? Kind of make me cry. Ah, uh, that means Al, Al's doing their mod job. That's what I expect of my mods. Make chat cry. 
Who got? I don't know. <laughs> oh no. There's a degree of totalitarianism going on here. Come here, you butt. Really don't like fighting these things. Because I can't be but The thing is, I could change spells just to make it easier, but I'm not going to. There we go. Oh, there's more! There's more lads! More sky lads! Just a bit of fun? Is it? Is it? Selma's crying in the corner right now. Beetle position. Is that fun? Is that fun to you, Armin? Alright, I need to kill these. Don't kill us, we're children. Wait, sorry, chat. Hang on. Did, did the dialogue come up at, about them being children? I think it did. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, I used a recovery for some reason. Ah, oh, well, that's fine. So they're eggs of children. They're babies. They're babies in balls. Ball babies. The balliest babes. Selmas wouldn't cry. It's rude to cry. It's the rudest. I didn't want... These things should get XP, give XP. That way you get, you get benefit for uh, killing as many balls as possible. There we go. Owl supremacy? Ah. Now, this thing's not going to take any damage because it's talking. That's the funny thing when you do this the original time is like, if, because there's no talking dialogue, you can just kind of get through this faster. Whereas in C, D, and E, or B, B, C, and D, you just have to wait a little bit longer. But yeah, as I mentioned, chat, this will probably be, if I can, if I'm, if I'm on a quick pace here, this might be the last day of Nier on stream, which, uh, I was, honestly, I was wanting to do an extra day last week, but it just didn't pan out. Because, uh, this, this I, I love Nia, but it's, I kind of wanted to get this game done way faster. What, what's your go-to sad music, Selmers? What, what, what do you think is the go-to sad music? Oh shit, I <laughs> charged into that. Hi pig. Oh, wrong spell. Oh well, he can charge into that I guess. Man, that does so much damage. Man, it's it's getting to a silly point. The Daimono stream music, the, the stream entry, the nya 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 nya. That's a pretty good one. You have TTS? I do. Wait, are you talking about for uh, which part? Oh, I've got two types of TTS. I've got for sub and for for bits. By the way, if you guys ever realize this, this this pig's actually filling the room with stink. Something about that third meow gets me every single time. How much is for bits? It's only 10. I have it pretty low. One day maybe I'll increase it, but at the moment I feel like you guys don't spam it. I think when it was one bit, it got a little bit much, but uh, I think 10's like a happy amount. Cause I like having them, but it can't, it, could, it got a little bit much. I mean, I love Tante, but some of those those ones are far out. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water and water. I love that song. Thank you, Armin. That's one of my favorite songs. Water and water and water. Thank you for the bits also, Armin. That's a lot of bits. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
Surely you're the bit leader for the moment. Armored. Dear yeah, pig. No one tell Al. <laughs> Al's mean to me. Now I want to play that song. Man, Armin, when am I going to play Final Fantasy VIII on stream? Shit. Uh, 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 uh. Cool. Oh man, I love Tyran's Japanese voice actor. It's so good. Shikamaru is such a... Like, his voice actor is so good. Maybe I should just be using Square. Maybe I don't even need to do the charge up thing. Yeah, let's let's test that. After it stops bouncing around. Nah, it's it's wor it's still worth to do the yellow charge up on heavy. But what what are you guys doing? What are your plans for today? I feel like I feel like we So one thing is about this playthrough now is that um I've already seen so much that we can just chill. This will be mostly a chill stream because it'll just be me talking over the game. Um but uh I don't want to be sent back to the Fungin. <laughs> Am I the only one that reads Fungin is in the imagine that it has to be a fungus place? Come on. We don't really hear much of the King of Facade, but he's he's got a pretty pretty standard voice, I would say. That's rude to the to the voice actor, I know, but it's like so, some people aren't like a really like characteris char characterized caricature style voice. Oh, him getting up actually put me down. Yep. Someone's likes everyone in the gulag. I mean the fungin. We love the fungin. We are happy in the fungin. Is there a fungin in the the Minecraft server, Al? Rainbow really wants me to come back to this, to that server at some point. Maybe that's on on a day where we're just not really doing anything in particular. Maybe that'd be a good day because I was like gonna do Pokemon maybe at the end of the week, um, but perhaps perhaps we should uh maybe do a mini Minecraft. But then again, I think Al would, uh, not Al, uh, a lot of the people would like uh, a bigger, a bigger return to it. I think it's hard because Minecraft is definitely not something I get as excited over as I think uh, other people do. Like I like Minecraft a lot, but it's like, it's, it's definitely not something where it's like, uh, I probably set up too much extra time for it because we've, we've, we've had our time with it, I feel like. And we had a good time with it. Fungin is not fun. Al forces me to watch episode of Family Guy every spit off Cleveland show. God. All right. This fight won't last long. I just need to get shield. I love the tiny mill heads. You won't last long. I assure you of that, Devola. There we go. Defeated. <laughs> and that's all she wrote, Fox, folks, for Devola. Stop calling my old bedroom the Fungin. Yeah, we got Angry Girl here. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of Nia's Japanese voice actor. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't quite suit. We might have to cast another shield here. By the way, she's meant to be filling the room with orbs and I'm just sitting on her with a shield, so it's just preventing all of it. 
Hello and I am proud to be right back in my hometown with my new family there's old friends and new friends and even a bear through good times and bad times it's true love we share and so <laughs> God Oh no I skipped the cutscene fudge uh I skipped the cutscene that I wanted Anyway Emil just passed away again <laughs> I wanted to hear Emil's voice actor do it in Japanese. Oh, we'll have to watch it on the D play playthrough. That's something I can look forward to then. Thank you for the bits though, Al. Happening again? The Cleveland show never ends. But this is different. We got something new here. Darkness. Black without end. It goes on and on and on. Eyes closed. Eyes open. It matters not. The dark is joined by a mysterious sensation. One created by mingling of blissful sleep and unease of terrible, unending cold. Is this... a dream? Thinking to pinch his cheek, he reaches up for, for his face, but his hand does not move. If his hack, in fact, his hand has disappeared altogether. He looks at his arms and only sees bone. He looks at his feet and sees they have disappeared, along with the rest of his legs up to his thigh. What remains of his what body remains begin to leave him, and then crumbling into fragments smaller than dust. His body is going soon he will be no more. Is this death? Suddenly he recalls his past. He remembers the time he lived with his sister. The very act of recollection is like a shooting star. So this is de this is a mill um, during the moment of his death. Um, or the moment of his transition. The function keeps us safe. The Fungeon teaches us to love Owl. And Owl loves us. We love the Fungeon, the Fungeon is safe, the Fungeon is truth. <laughs> I love I love Owls promoting this. And third person as well. Man, I, I have adapted such an online persona, I forget my name is an Armin. <laughs> it happens, it happens. I've got, as a, I've had many names over the years. And then you just, that's, that's what you're known as for a while. Owl's gonna make him reenact the episode where Bear is a character. Despite only lasting for a moment, it brings color into the darkness. Soon memories come together atop of each other, one after the next, until they meld into a warm, glorious light. And Mill's dream, the promise. Thank you for the water, Armin. I'll need that for this one. Wake up, wake up. A set of covers torn from the boy, leaving his eyelids exposed to the merciless sun. Hey there, lazy bones, says the voice again. The boy's vision, blurry at first, gradually grows more clear before him, her face aglow with a radiant smile. His older twin sister, Aloha. Morning, Aloha. Don't look so cheery, you butt. The teacher's gonna have, be here any minute. Aloha grabs her brother and pulls him beneath the bed with her, where they wait for the host of dust bunnies to, of their instructor's arrival. The moment uh, Emil starts the question, Eloise shushes him by placing a finger over his mouth. Don't start. We agreed to this yesterday, remember? We're going to jump out and give the teacher a scare for her life. After a few ticks of the clock, the door opens and a slight woman enters the room. Good morning, Halloa. Good morning, Emil. Are you ready for... Hmm? Emil glances at his sister and sees her trying to stifle a laugh, which is an unfortunate effect of making the laugh rise in him. The dust bunnies decide to get on in on the act, swirling up into their nose and causing a tricksters to sneeze in unison. Suddenly, the face of the teacher appears in the space between the bed and the floor. There you are, you scamps! This is your fault, says Halloa. You ruined it by sneezing. Me? Clearly wounded Emil. You sneeze just as loud. That's enough, both of you, says the teacher. She attempts to hide her amusement. Don't listen to Selma's Selma's lies. The function is not bad, the function is good. The function is safe, the function is life. <laughs> Thank you, Al, for the bits again. Don't listen to Selma, Selma's lies. Selma, Selma's, you've got to stop lying. My mods are telling me you're lying. Water and water. I don't want to go back out. Al. Al's mean to people with it. Text stop to 1-800-STOP-BAD-FUNGENS across the world. Selmas like these are sent to Fungeons. Please, if you see any Selmas, send them back to a safe space. The Fungeon Organization. Crawling out f crawl out from under there and let me take your temperatures already. The pair happily shimmies out of their hiding place and stands before their teacher. 
She's not, she's a fair woman with a kind voice, one Emil would be happy to listen to for the rest of his life. In fact, he often thought about waking her waking him in the morning was his favorite part of the day. The teacher finds her seat, hunkers down, and lightly pats her on the leg, which is which to her which a happy Emil leaps up into her lap, and then slides chilly a chilly thermometer under his armpit, causing a shudder to race through his body. I'm sorry, just be a brave for boy for a little longer, all right? Emil used to hate having his temperature taken te temperature taken daily. The thermometer was just so darn cold, but he's become used to it after being in the facility for the past two years. His mother and father punished, uh, perished in the accident many years before. He'd been told the facility had sent there was just simply a home for orphan orphans such as himself, but he always had his doubts. After all, most orphanages weren't staffed by doctors in white coasts who had lessons involving repeating, asking strange questions, nor did they attach wires to their bodies and charge, charges and forces them to enter enormous boxes. The process is endless, the tests unceasing, and yet Emil feels his teacher somehow floats above it all. She would talk to him about everyday problems, reading books, and even share a meal with him when time permitted. Okay, out of bits, the bit's over for me. Thank you, Al, I appreciate it. You went hard on the bits. As I mentioned, you can do TTS with just 10 bits, but I appreciate each of the hundreds. <clears throat> He's the closest thing he has ever had to a mother. With the, both their temperatures taken, Emila and Halloa wait for breakfast, but something is different this day. The teacher is strange, somehow off. Emil, she says quietly, do you remember what day this is? Emil looks over at his sister and uh, sees her staring at him with an enormous grin. Nuh uh, she says, you gotta figure it out for yourself. Despite his best efforts, Emil comes up empty. I'm sorry, ma'am, he says at last, I just don't know. With a smile, the teacher reaches into a pocket of a white coat and draws a small package. Is a bag neatly closed with string and tied at the top with a red ribbon. Happy birthday, Emil, she says. In fact, happy birthday to both of you. Oh, thank you, cries Emil. Can I open it? I don't want to go back there, ma'am. I don't even get hydrated in. <laughs> you don't get hydrated in? Thank you for the bit, Salvas. Of course, his reply is, I'm afraid there's nothing so special, but I do hope it in uh, regardless. Emil carefully unties the ribbon and opens the bag to reveal a small pile of cookies. There are some snacks that he's always received at the facility, but the fact that they come from his teacher makes them feel somehow special. A gasp escapes from his mouth. His sister can't help but giggling beside him. Her eyes fixate on the bright ribbon with all, uh, all, all the while. Happy birthday, Halloa, says Emil and reaches into the bag, withdraws a cookie and offers it to his sister. Needing no further encouragement, the girl crams the cookie into her mouth and swallows it in two bites. Happy birthday to you too, Emil. Then, as though they were remembering something, uh, she leaps up and runs to a small chest of drawers where the two of them share. After forcing open a stubborn drawer, she pulls out a single sheet of paper hidden under the white coat and runs it back to her brother. Here's your present, she says, thrusting the paper with a slight embarrassed look. When he glances down, he looks down and sees the words, Happy birthday, Emil, scrawled in a shaky child's hand along with a picture of a, a generously colored person who had clearly been created with every crayon in the box. That was me. Unable to stop himself, Emil wrapped his sister in a massive hug. Thank you, he whispered as she returned to the embrace just as tightly. I'll make sure to draw you one on our next birthday, okay? My sister was there. My teacher was there. It was my birthday. I thought I could never be happier. We regret to inform you that a Rouge Selmers has escaped the facility. A Rouge Selmers. It. Return it. It is malfunctioning. <laughs> I, I like that it's a it's a red colored Selmers. It's a red bear. I'm glad Halloween's drawing is the last thing I will remember. A sense of deep, perfect darkness descending over my eyes, and I realize my time has come. I'm so terribly cold. As I cr try to desperately remember what it's like to f be embraced, I wonder if this horrible face is all that's left of me. Halloa, I'm sorry. I couldn't keep my promise. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm coming to join you now. Just hold on. Oh, it's Halloween's voice! Oh, 
Hello, is that you? Hello, have you come for me? Am I dead? I'm just here to keep my promise. In the moment the world of blackness surrounding explodes into color, red, yellow, blue, and so many other colors. Colors that have no names for, colors I've never seen. It's like someone, everyone using every crayon in the box. Oh. The fact that she remains, somehow retains her humanity after becoming a monster, merging with the mill, and then, now this. You gotta go, no problem, thank you for the bits, and thank you for the raid as well. Enjoy the rest of your day. Read the somewhat enticing story about Selmas and the fun gem in like five hours. God, you guys are writing a five hour dialogue? Don't worry about it, you butt. Looking after little brothers is what big sisters do. Her voice is fading. Sorry, Emil. It looks like I'm out of magic. Hello, oh, wait, let me come with you. But you are with me. I'll always watch over you. So we'll always be together. Hello, oh, no, don't go. Hello. And the truth about Emil's immortality. The darkness enveloping flows away, replaced with brilliant blue sky. I don't know where I am or what I'm supposed to do, but it's okay that I'm here. I know that much now. She's given me courage to accept that. No more crying. I'll live with a smile on my face. The, I have to say, the smile on my face a bit ham-fisted there with being little moon man. Because that promise I made her. So, turns out Emil's immortality is the last moment. Caused by Halloa. So even though it shows us this, he survives the ultimate destructions. Armin's just bopping Selma's now. I don't even. I didn't even get to see Selma's last messages. Hey, NC. How you doing? All right. So this is where the king dies in the final showdown against the boar. I don't think anything changed there. I'm a little annoyed that I skipped the. Uh, I wanted to see Emil's final moments in Japanese, but we'll watch that next time. rock and roll. God. Um, it's finally going mad with power. It was... It was Selma's. Did I manage to prove it? Do I have... Do we have the records? Do we... Do, can we pull up the records? Attack power 30! Oh, I finally got attack power 30. Holy shit. Okay, that's really good. Alright, we're finally in the range of being very strong, and I might... ...have to switch words in a moment. 
think I'm fairly sure that's the strongest word in the game. Let's let's find our words. Chat. Uh, there we go. Oh, I still got armor break on. I still, I'm not sure which one's the best one to have. I'm unsure. Go to the fungin. Get in the fungin. We should probably cast shield. Just uh, continuously swinging this spear around because everything melts in front of me. Gosh. Alright, it's time chat. Ending C is in front of us. Don't worry, Samurai Kabuki man's got this. As he fights flesh shadow version of himself. So I probably can skip this. This is just the Shadow Lord. I don't think anything changes here. There is a certain point here that will change. But for now we need to destroy. What I want to listen to chat here is if we can hear what, uh, I want to hear Noah. So Noah is the voice of the birds. No way. So that voice act actor is Akino from One Piece, which is crazy to say. Oh my God, Tucker. You done with the bit? <laughs> new bit. We gotta find a new bit. What's the new bit? How you doing, Taka? So we're gonna have this little moment with Tyran where he's a. Uh... Oh my gosh! Wow, I haven't heard that in a while. Um. Tyran and Kaine, so this, so ending C is actually technically a Kaine ending. Oh my god, 25 bits, thank you Salmus. I didn't realize that I've said that went to 25 bits. It was because that one was so loud. You done with work? Yeah, I'm done with work too, so it's just now we can just chill and relax together. There's nothing better than uh, walking away for work. It's, it's funny, I used to... Oh, God. I used to, um, I used to... do a job where it was like... Uh, having to worry about work after work, never a fun thing. I'm back to a point where I don't have to, which is nice, but it's like... walking away from the office, or whatever it might be, and you're just sort of like, ah, oh, man, I hope th they don't fuck this up while I'm not there. <laughs> Please adopt us. I'll bring you all in. You can be all tiny, tiny cubs in a box. How do you milk a taco? I don't know. I imagine it'd be very oily. All right, let's let's end the Shadow Lord. He's he's being a little shit here. And there it is. That would, I feel like that would taste disgusting. It's just meaty. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I want to talk about this, Selmas. Now we're in this thing. So, uh, the, I watched Boba, who is a uh, a Yogscast streamer. Um, she made Doritos Consume, which is just basically 
Oh my god, it's awful. It's it's like trying to cheese cheese great a not cheese great. Emulsify cheese great a just wet Doritos. It's awful. It looks disgusting. Bigger. <laughs> I think I think Selma's we should I should look into like considering we haven't used the blurps in a long time I might go back to a version of doing sound effects and the rest of the sound effects will live in the blurps but we'll figure it out Shadow Lord freaks out We're almost there chat I don't want to start skipping because I can't remember at what point stuff changes I love how slow Nia is. He's like, oh, she's been possessed. Taco Bell has a Doritos Loco Taco. Like it's a taco just made with a Dorito. Uh, Dorito. Taco made out of Dorito shells. Is that it? That makes sense. I would like Cat to come back. I think I think maybe we can have like we'll have an ever rotating cast of like twenty, and we'll bring in new one. I'll have like some dedicated to news, and then some uh, ones we phase out. I I need a way to figure out which ones uh which ones have been recently used or something. That'd be a good way to do it. If I feel like I haven't heard it in ages, then maybe I, it it gets bumped up to a, a blurp if people really want it. Otherwise, maybe it can just be uh put on the back sh on the on the shelf. The Shade Yona walks the light to free herself from the shell that she's been forced upon. Notice that she's still sick. Like, it's so crazy because Yona is one of the few ones that actually have been put back correctly into her own body, but she's still dying because that's unfortunately just Yona's lot in life. Milky Juice is say I think Milky Juice might be might be one of the ones to go. Taco, I think I think that one's run its course. Oh, Yona. She was a good girl right into the end. Both of them have the same spirit of doing anything for their brother. And now... Nia... The Shade has nothing to live for. Alright, let's just power up while this guy gets his shit on. I just have to wait for the dialogue as he just shoots small orb boys at me. Come here. He still does a decent amount of damage. It's Taco's most recognizable feature. That he's milkable? I might need a second barrier because the dialogue, so we're just gonna hold on to the spell until it wears off. I can't do the killing boy vice. You're talking. If you prevent it. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, we go. There we go. Phase change. You have a cute drawing? Oh, you'll have to put it in the in the Discord arm, uh, and see. 
I want to hear the comparison between um, uh, Vice in Japanese uh, and versus original Japanese. Because this is a different voice actor. Like, I like him, but it, it's not as, like, I feel like English, unfortunately, is pretty show-stealing, so. Date. なにしときだ。あやつの動きを止める。そしてその後はお前に任せた。この先はお前一人の戦いだ。しっかり頑張るのだぞ。いやだ。いやだ。俺はまだ素人。わけ。我はお前のそういう単純なところが。<笑> 好きであった。楽しかったな。お前といると… I like, I like the idea that Vice is just floating around telling this story or giving his final monologue. Meanwhile, the Shadow Lord's over in the corner. He's like, waiting for his time. Is he, he's still got power to spare. Wow, the, the gloves look like the snake skin in this, uh, in this costume. <laughs> Bye, Vice. You silly book. Rumor Vice has lost all his power. Now I have no no shield. Oops, I jumped very strangely here. I realize I've been doing this the wrong way. You're actually meant to... He's not against the wall, so it's literally just jumping over this, going here, and then just doing that. <laughs> uh, I love the song changes in this game. See you, Nia. And like that, the Shadow Lord is gone. For the third time. Now, if you'll remember, Kaine walked away last time. お前の体はもう俺の意志ではどうにもならんところまで蝕まれてる。分かってる。くそ。楽しかったな。殺して殺して殺して大満足だ。そうか。違う違う違う。楽しくなんかない。Oh, it looks like Kaine is changing Tyran. No distractions from Yona this time. It's time for the true ending. Kaine doesn't walk away instead. Kaine, what did you do? Kaine, 
には止められないんだそんなのいいから聞け<笑>もうエミールはいない私を止める方法はないんだお腹かみだそうなるまで私を。Yeah, this ending is only possible because we have all the weapons in the game. Oh. A new life is born. Shade Kaine. Full Shade Kaine. And she's in her other costume, that's really funny. She's back to how she was. No, no, no samurai here. And I don't have vice. This is just me and Kaine, Melly to Melly. Well, I think she's gonna use power. <laughs> Tyran remembers enough that he won't want to be destroyed. A man that fears death beyond anything. The true boss fight. The final boss fight is Kaine. Fudge, I... Okay, hang on, we have to, do we have to destroy these things on the side? Nope. Nope, shit just hurts. Whoa! Whoa, dude! Let me out! Let me out! Oh my gosh, okay. Alright. Do I have to just survive this sequence? Is that what's happening here? I think I have to. Alright, we're just gonna try and survive. Oh my gosh, this isn't going well. Welcome to Bullet Hell. Holy shit. There we go. She's going berserk. Tyran understands that Daimono would do anything, or Nia would do anything, to save Kaine. He needs me to stab her in the heart. Alright, time to fight. Now, you'll notice, Kaine actually has a health pool. Unlike the other bosses we've fought so far, she actually has some health. She also is very, very quick. So she kind of fights similar to what she did, she did originally when we fought her back in the shrine, but she is a lot more painful because I don't have any spells to help me out here. That hurt. See ya, sunshine. Should have saved that for that final moment. Oh, I, I shouldn't try and armor through that. Kainé's attacks do way too much damage to try and armor certain things. Oh, 
almost done. There it is. There are two ways to do it. Red Rover! それはカイネの望みであり、この豪華からのたぶん。And there it is. The final choice of Nia. Do I kill her or sacrifice myself? Now, if I sacrifice myself, that puts me in ending D. That is a place where I cannot turn back. There is a place with no return if I choose ending D. Ending C, however, means that I can kill her, free her, and live out my life with Yona. We just saved Yona. I walk and I feel like I missed something important. So, for, um, if you have missed what had just happened, Kaine finally went berserk. Without Emil, she gave up. Without, like, the end of the journey, it was just too much for her. And so she went berserk. And now Tyran doesn't want her to die. Gave uh, near the option of ending it. For her or for me. End Kaine's existence or sacrifice your own existence. Normally, in a game like this, I probably would have gone for the latter option. But... I think we need to end Kaine's existence. That's what we're gonna do. Goodbye, Kaine. We lost all our friends along the way. Everyone is dead. By destroying the, co the core of the Gestalt. As he looks into her eyes. これ I forgot how much this game had shaky cam. The Lunar Tear. Okay, Mavi, thank you for the water. And there we go. Ending C. The end of Kaine. Now, there is another way that could have ended. But 
gonna take me a little bit to get back to that point. Um, <laughs> clap question mark? I think clap question mark is very, uh, very appropriate here. So. There is a moment after this cutscene that we will have where I will be able to make a decision. So. Thank you for the bit, Selmas. But yeah, this is, this is a very funny game to do on stream, just in terms of the, all the context and story and stuff, and the fact that we've seen the credits so much, because the loops are different every single time. And if you don't know the starting stuff, like it can be very easy to not quite understand. It's a very tough game to stream, I understand. But there's no reason I would ever not want to stream this game. I absolutely love this game. I want to show people all of it. And you didn't like the bedtime story, Selmas, of with um, Emil and uh, his sister as he passed away, or survived, as it turns out. Um, now, again, there's three voice actors in these uh, credits that do not have a role associated. They're question mark, question mark, question mark. I still don't know what they are. There's the biggest mystery that has been left to me. I know there is something beyond ending D, and I will have to find out because... Ending D is a big one, so, uh, sit tight. We'll probably see that very soon. But how's your day, Mavi? How you doing? I want to hear one about the Bernstein Bears. Aren't Bernstein Bears one of those ones that are extremely copyrighted? They're Giga Chads, don't question it. That's all they are. It's just it's just what they are. I never want to skip the credits. Do you know what's the the thing about this game is like I I I really uh I love the music in this game and I love the tone and everything sets that it's just I'm just I'm just happy to sit through basically. I'm also I'm sad locked down. Oh no. I know, Mavi. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit more free than you guys, but it's like... It still happened at a very annoying time. I was organizing quite a lot of things over the past week or two. Um, and yeah, it's... Good night, you beautiful <laughs> night, Selmas. Thank you for being here for the ending. I appreciate it. Have a good night. <clears throat> I assume that's gonna cause a lot of problems for people that live a little bit more further in. Um, now... Yeah, I think it's ex so. Hang on, so Mavi, I I haven't actually fully yet looked at all the changes and stuff. So, for those who don't know, Victoria's just gone back into lockdown. Um, we've got the black scroll everywhere. People people are turning into shades left, right, and center. Um, so the lockdown has reoccurred, and um, now I thought they were res like lessening some of the restrictions, but then I heard the opposite, where it's like it's like it's getting heavier. So I have no idea what's happening now. My my assumption is that it is it would probably be extending. Because I think I saw something about people talking about being extended by a week. Which makes sense to me. But I don't know if it's like it's just within the inner city. Inner city life. Inner city pressure. The concrete jungle's out to get you. Tomoe Saito. Tomoko Kasahara. Tomoko Matsunaga. Tomoe's Fuku Ada. I like reading Japanese. I think there's something I, I like the that's the thing, I like the the Japanese uh language just because it's very bouncy. I, I think it's it's the rhythmic nature of it. Yosuke Saito. Tsuki Jinoichi. Yukiko Chijo. Yuta Sato Yuka, Yutaka Funanai <sighs> There we go, ending C There it is 
the three endings. You'll notice ending D does not have a space. Ending D. Your choice in this decision would allow you to view every last piece of the ending. Which means... Let, hang on, chat. I want to do something here. Let's load up... Okay, first of all, we're going to go change costumes. Because... <gasps> no! Alright, hang on. We're going to go change costumes. We're going to do... We're going to do a few things. So we're going to do wardrobe. We're going to do samurai. So we were in kabuki. Magic orbs. We'll put magic orbs back to standard, maybe? Um... Yeah, so we're gonna go samurai this route. So we're gonna see what the samurai costumes are for the very end. Um, we're gonna go and change the sound. Because I want the... Wait, where is it? Voice. Language? There we go. I want it back in English. Wear a filter fish. Mavi, what does that mean? Do you mean the McDonald's filter fish? Is that what you're talking about? Do you want me to go find an image of the McDonald's filter fish? You may need to cut this out for me because I'm going to go with, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that there is not one with it out, like, it being already cut out. Fuck me. Mavi. There is a 3000 by 2500 image of the Philodo fish. Why has someone got such a high res picture of a Philodo fish on the internet? Mavi, do you, do you have the capabilities to cut that out? And turn that into because I found I found one I found a very big boy but he's got a white background I don't know if there's any here without like he's like if I made it transparent where the white source is I think it'd look weird I cannot get over how big some of these images are Props for like a billboard res- Yeah, but why would McDonald's put their own stuff out there? Like McDonald's, I think, thought we'd keep this stuff internal. It's unsatisfying the fact that it's a square. Okay, for chat- For the, for people who don't know what a fillet of fish is, which I think this is available globally, um, this is a fillet of fish. I can't believe I'm showing this on Neostream. Okay. Hang on. Oh, has it done that thing again? There it is. Um, so, Philodo Fish. Philodo Fish is just a fish patty with some, I, I don't even know what to call that mayo, on a small burg. <laughs> From Maccas. Um, <laughs> which, maybe. You still haven't answered my question. My computer currently acquired slideshow and I can't do much. Compiling a build. Oh, okay. It's probably Tartar Source. That's what I'm looking for, Red Rover. I was trying to think of what that's called. Tartar Source. Tartar Source. Oh my god. Alright, hang on. I'll For you, Mavi, I'll do this. Give me two seconds. Let's, okay, I guess, I guess we're going art time. Um, wasn't expecting to go to art time today, but that's what's happening. Um, give me two seconds as we open up art time. Tartar sauce, tartar sauce. I'll touch your tartars. All right. Now I'm not gonna be able to see chat for a moment just as I speed Try and take a photo. I hate when they add a shadow because the shadow means that it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, that tolerance is really high, so let's reduce that down to tiny amounts. Wait, no, I want the opposite. I want I want really high tolerance. Don't do that. One last time.
All right. I'm gonna cut out a berg, chat. Oh God. Uh, I don't like doing this by hand. I'm using my mouse to do this. Oh shit, wrong way around. Uh, Berg. You can see that you can get, so you can see that I get really unsteady going up and left. But that'll do. All right. Here's your tasty burger. I will prepare this for you on a platter, just as you desired, O oh, lordly one. Oh god, I love this opening so much. Like a little bitch. Shadow Lord. No, oh, you can't hear it. You guys can't even hear it. All right. Belly to fish obtained. Yeah, it, question. Question. Mavi, is this burger replacing my body? Am I gonna wear a fillet of fish as a like an outfit? Or are we putting the berg in my hand? Or do I become the berg? I feel like I should be inside the burger. I feel like that's I feel like that's the appropriate thing here. I think or I could be holding the berg. You just want it on my head? Alright. Chat. Bestow upon the gifts upon my head. A raw berg. As we do ending D. In English. I know that we've done a lot in English, but uh, that's what the plan is. Um, so, now I want to see. So it actually says here, the library. So I assume it starts into the library. So if I do ending B, I can do ending D, right? I think I've unlocked it. Hang on. Let me read. Chat, I gotta read something. Uh, after you load up a cleared save file for ending B or C save, you load up the game previous run, but before complete before completing ending C. With all 30 weapons, this time you'll allow you to choose the final sacrifice and giving you ending D. So yeah, okay. So we can just do it from here. Because I'm fairly sure this won't change in the library. That has got me at a level 40, interestingly enough. <laughs> Um, I think this is right. Because as long as I have ending C somewhere on my save, it should be okay, I think. Chat, I hope I don't fuck this up. Because this, this could go appallingly wrong if, uh, if I don't get this correct. Because I'm fairly sure ending C, look, it says library, so I think it's going to put me in the library. We may as well load this up just to see. Got kind A as our load bar. I don't know if there's any differences between. Uh, Whenever I interacted with Kine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway. <sighs> All right, let's not watch memories. The beast approaches. Ah, oh, that's my boy with his voice. All 
right, here we go. Now, I wish I could... All right, hang on. <laughs> let's, let's do casting. Casting will speed this up. I actually really like Brother Nier's English voice. I think I like it more than the, the Japanese, honestly. Alright. We get to be cool Samurai Boy. So I just want to see their costumes, and then we'll back on out. Yeah, okay, I don't think- I don't think there is anything extra. I'm fairly sure we are safe to just go into ending D. So this is the problem with near this game in particular, is there's a few things- Oh, I actually really like her hair here. That's really cute. You like that ending? Ending C ends with killing Kaine. Ending D starts with the resurrection of Kaine. Oh, hey. A little samurai, Emil. Oh. There's so many touching moments in this game. I love this game. All right, we won't watch it all. So I'm, I'm fairly sure I'm right. But uh, we pretty much will be uh, doing ending D from ending B. Um, so. Kaine waking from her long petrified sleep. Emile's unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one. We let it wash over us. Well, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed watching them have a very family-friendly little reunion there. Go and ruin it all. <sighs> but Papola and Davola have to go and ruin it all. And then I go and spoil it all by doing something stupid like I love you. Saying something stupid. Doing something stupid by loving you. What a... Alright. A lot, of, a lot of little skippies to be able for me to quit. It's, it's so funny because it's like there's so much stuff that at the that's front loaded at the end of ending B and C. For the first time in my life, I hated Devola. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. Protect it from the horror of the shades. <laughs> really, how can I blame Devola and Popola? I know I can't. In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stop to think about Kaine and Emil's situations. Why are you streaming? I stream when I can on Thursdays now. That's the plan, CJ. Also, CJ, you know, you know, yeah, CJ, my mod, my main lad, ignoring my schedules. Wow, look at look at this. I can't skip out of these, by the way. I'm I'm totally trapped in these cutscenes. But I am a samurai. Look at me. I'm a cool samurai boy. I got a fire going, 
How you doing, CJ? Do you post them anywhere but Twitter? I post them on Discord. <laughs> They're in the announcements channel. They're Twitter, Instagram, Discord. And they're on the on the Twitch page and at the start of the stream. Wait, did I just get oh it was gold. Never mind. Alright, well now here's the funny thing. We've now got to uh return to the title screen. Ooh, the moonflower there. Alright. Here we go, chat. It's ending. Ending daytime. I'm fairly sure I can do it from here. Hopefully I don't waste an hour here doing this and being like, oh, I can't actually get it. I think I'm fairly sure. I think it's as long as you have ending C on your account. Using Discord for anything. Is it posting memes and voice chat? Funny thing is, we really don't use the voice chat enough. Again, that's one of those things that I have to, will reduce down, I think. Um. Such this is a lot. Sight. And yet I find it when I find time. Now... Alright, so. Same thing as before. Literally the exact same thing as before. I gotta try and get through this as quick as I can. So, sit tight to your butt. This will be an hour of... It, we're redoing the stream. We're rolling back the type, tape. We're doing an hour of stream again. And then, new stuff. I promise you. I promise you. REVENGE! Except now I have a little, uh, skelly boy in, in a samurai hat. That's pretty cool. That's pretty pog. You leave in voice? Yeah, I do the same thing, CJ. They disappeared because of the black disease. To separate body and soul. We put them in their corresponding shells. So this game does something that I appreciate. It's like when the um when the text boxes appear, um, because I'm skipping the text, because this game's all about speed clicking, um, is when you skip that stuff, it actually doesn't lock you to the top option. It actually makes it so no option is selectable until you move the cursor. Which gonna say, I appreciate that immensely. We're here to no doubt no. There's a lot of games that I've played over the years where that's a big problem in my opinion. Oh, why, uh, why are we set to Lance? Oh, because it's this save. Where's Wall? Wall? Fate was predetermined. Still, we spoke to truth. We really wanted to avoid this possible. We were hoping to put it off for a hundred years or so. Until so we're just gonna, we're just gonna be chill here. We're just going to keep casting Wall while these two just go nuts. So as soon as Wall ends, we just cast another Wall. As Wall ends, we cast another Wall. As Wall ends, we cast another Wall. Except if we run out of mana, apparently. All right, real fight begins. My powers. Shit on a shingle. They can use the sealed version. Shit on a shingle. Of course we can. The power Question, when they say shit on a shingle, are they referring to a, like a shingle as in like a tile? They'd like shitting on like a tile? Oh, the distri the raw distress that is in Mia's voice. No, the enemies have shingles? It's shitty on someone on a shingle. I think it's just alliteration? Nah. It's literal. Yep, and we're off. 
Coppola are fighting us. Yes, they do seem to be putting us through a great deal of... Hot shingles in my area. <laughs> Every summer. Oh my god. Question, isn't like shingles... Is shingles the one that old people get? Or is it the one young people get? I feel like it's like the old people's uh, disease. Disease is probably not the right word. Illness. Virus? No. Inflammation. Something. Oh, camera, please. I think I hear a waltz. In my area, there's so many cats wandering around the neighborhood. Do they have shingles? I'd like to go now, please. This cat look funny. This this cat be hungry for Berg. I'll be honest. Well, hang on. All right, chat. Maybe you can answer me this. Mavi gave me this burger. I actually don't know. What is is a fillet of fish just a giant fish finger patty? I assume it's a giant fish finger patty, right? Chat. Right? Jingles is what you get if chicken pox is an all. Oh, it is that. I feel like, do you know what, CJ? It's funny because it's like, I, I feel like I grew up always knewing that and then people disputed me on it. And now I'm like, I'm like paranoid that, that it's not correct what I think it is. Not a fish eater? I don't know. Neither am I. Man, wait, CJ, you grew up in locations that, like, I feel like fish were, like, a pretty big deal. Like, do you... And you're not in a fish? Did you try the fish at my new job and it's really good? What type of fish is it? Our fish is meant to be really good in Australia. Again, I'm not a fish eater, too. It's seriously like that? It's just... It's just a fish? Okay, so it's probably, like, um... Oh, what? It, hang on, chat. What? What is fish fingers? Because it's not. It's not tuna. It's not salmon. It's not. What is it? I actually don't know now. I'm now having one of those like. I feel like I should know this thing. It's. It's not like carp or anything like that. It's. What is it? What? 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 It, what are fish fingers? What is even a fish finger? I'm having existen existential dread over fish finger now. Hate these pricks. One enemy in the game that I just do not like fighting. Whoa! Why did I do that? I'll open the next door. Cover me. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> hey, Prince. How you doing, man? For so long. I know. This is crazy. Everyone must... Man, this is crazy to me because that means that everyone started subbing around the same time. Because, like, there's a few people this month have subbed for 10 months. Which is crazy. People, that's almost a year. That's insane. Thank you, Prince, man. I appreciate it. How's your day been? How's, how's the relaxing time, uh... Taking a bit of time off from Strem. Or less stream. I've been stubbed ever since you started, or ever since I was affiliate. Well, that's crazy. That's insane. I didn't realize. See, that's the thing. It's like it kind of feels like that's when everything sort of like kicked into gear. That would like the uh, when getting to affiliate, which is bizarre to say. Man, I actually really like Kaine's hair like this. It's quite nice. Ow! Please stop. All right. Well, let's just kill these egg boys. Affiliated now, but affiliated fish. Affiliated o fish. God. This is why, CJ. CJ, this is why I can't do, like, 
I'm not a jokester. Like, I'm, I'm not a bundle of comedy. But sometimes people's ability with wordplay... Genuinely. This is why I'm not, I'm not a huge pun person. But good wordplay is, uh, can go... Can go far. We need to help Clayton. I only just noticed the filler of fish on your head. Yeah, Mavi, Mavi decided that this, that was, uh... That, that was the thing we needed to do right now. Kaine? Alright, Kaine time. I don't like the rest of Kaine's outfit, but I do like, um... Oh, hello. Um, but I do like, uh... I do like her hair a lot. I'm very good at it, but I need someone to work with, else I struggle when I'm by myself. I, I kind of feel like that too sometimes. I think that I'm not the funniest soul. I think I bounce off people a bit better than, uh... Uh, than making jokes by myself sometimes. But I feel like maybe everyone's like that. It's the social thing. You It gets your brain juices flowing. That's why I appreciate, like, the, the Sapphire's, uh, multi-sessions, because it's... The more immediate response, the more immediate it is, sometimes it's easier for you to just sort of bounce into things. I was actually watching, um, Snuffy's, uh... Ow, please stop! I was actually watching Snuffy's, a uh, Snuffy video the other day, and she was talking about how, like, smaller VTubers, um, like, uh, do a lot of, like, uh, collabs and things like that. And it's funny, because I kind of agree with her. I, like, she was talking about tropes for, like, that, um, VTubers do. And you guys know me, I don't really follow any of that stuff. Like, I don't really attempt that stuff myself, but, um... Uh, it's, it's interesting because it's like, a lot of the popular ones don't necessarily do all of the trends, but one of the things that's like, there's this notion of what you must do as a VTuber, which is very bizarre to me because at the end of the day, VTubers are just streamers. Like, they're just streamers, like any, any of the other streamers on the platform, and it's just them finding out what works, what doesn't work, and following trends and things like that, but... Like, there's this weird, almost notion of what you must do, what you mustn't do. And it's like, I kind of, I kind of, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But one of the things is I do notice is they do like to have this thing where it's like, VTubers are meant to know VTubers. VTubers interact with other VTubers. VTubers are like, do collabs with other VTubers. And it's like, that, I get it. I, get, I kind of get it. But it's like, at the same time, um, it's... I don't feel like it's completely uh, necessary or makes sense. Also, I think it's a dangerous thing because if you... I've talked about this before. If you can't stream, if, if you're sitting in a stream and you're not able to talk by yourself, if you're not able to keep yourself entertained or feel like that if you don't have someone giving you immediate responses or you're not able to make little like insights on whatever you're doing, um, it's like you're not... I'm not really sure about streaming for you. I feel like it's one of those things that you really should have this ability to just talk. You should be able to the ability to socialize or be ready to just, like, you can't be you just are sitting there and waiting for someone in chat to tell you a good talking point. Like, if you look at a lot of the big streamers especially, like, the one of the biggest reasons is it makes no sense to be like that, is if you ever do become big, you, it, once chat becomes a certain speed, you cannot read chat. Chat becomes an impossible thing to read. Um, and a lot of the time, those members in chat aren't looking for, like, necessarily a response for everything that's being said in chat. They're just wanting to spend time with you, listen to you entertain and stuff like that. So, like, the idea that you're building yourself up as, like, this social beast... It's, it's fun and all, but it's like, people don't want to necessarily, like, always listen to people just hang with their friends and stuff like that, so. It's like when streamers get an audience of one, they got to know how to talk to themselves. 100% Prince. I really do agree. Like, it's, I don't know. It just, I've talked about it before where some of the streams that I've been to, I remember when I was first starting, where I'd come across people and they were just sitting there playing a game and they actually had most of the stream screen real estate was actually them but they were just sitting in their lounge room and they were just uh looking at the game and that was about it and it's very strange because it's one of those things where 
Um, I, I didn't, like, it's not an inviting presence. It almost feels like you've walked into someone's home. It feels like they're having a personal moment. They're just enjoying themselves. And then you've just walked into their home. And I'm not like, oh, I don't know if I necessarily should be interacting with you there. Are you comfy there? What's happening? Like, I don't know. Um, hey, uh, Oreo G and Yoshi. Great advice. Thank you. I, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that. that's just kind of how I feel about it. I, everyone has their different approaches to streaming. I'm not ever going to tell anyone, like, the way they should stream. But just be aware of things. Also, what's up, Rosary? The thing I did with a fish sandwich? What? Rosary, I don't... Do I want to know the context for this? God. Why do I have a fish sandwich on my head? I don't know, Mavi, Mavi felt like that was the thing to do right now. If I drop on a streamer and they're just sitting there not talking, I leave? 100%. I think... So, there's a difference if, say, I... Like, if segments of, like, say, this game, where it's, like, very story-based, and the game is doing the talking for me, and, like, um... Uh... If the game is talking for me, I don't mind letting it do its thing. I, like, I think games should have their moments. And that's kind of why I stream, is I think expression of just how wonderful the video games are. But, like... There's a lot of times where they don't have that. So, if the game is, like, just you shoot man shooting, uh, and you're just not talking, like, it's... Unless you're, a, you're uh, like, a eSports level player, your gameplay needs to be fucking dope for people to, like, really, like, want to just sit down and just watch the gameplay, I think. You gotta make be making some form of commentary, in my opinion. I feel like I missed something that you said, CJ. Um... I don't like to admit I am funny, but I could never do a hand- never do stand-up and tend to make obscure jokes. Yeah, I- I think- I'm more of a type of person that's- I think I like- I like referential to immediate, and also, like, making references that friends and- would know. It's- I don't want to be, like, just throwing out stuff and, like, just for the general people. Like, I'm not that type of person. I'm not a person that's, like, did you see that sports ball game? Or have you ever noticed that you walk into a bar? Or like, yeah. Devil. I meant for a fish sandwich. You didn't. Oh, Rosa, I think you meant what you did to a fish sandwich. Did you? Did you American Pie a, a fish sandwich? By the way, Chad, d again, we're on ending four. This is the fourth ending of the game. Ending D, we've seen the storyline this many times. This is why I'm just skipping through. Normally, I would never do this to this game. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Tavola? I always make it a form of commentary, but I'm more of a person that builds up and doesn't, uh, and doesn't start. But I've been starting to chat about something that I'm doing, like art. Yeah, I think art. I think art streams are a very good form of uh, like a just chatting stream, because you've only got so much thing you can talk about. You can't be like, oh well, I'm going to draw this line, and um, now I'm going to do a bit of shading here. I like this pen. Um, like it, it's a dangerous thing to like doing a stream like that without thinking you're going to be just talking to people while you do stuff. It's like almost like talking at work almost for something like that, in my opinion. Fillet of fish on head. Again, chat. No one answer me. What the fuck is in a fillet of fish? Oh, sorry. We can't hurt P uh, Devola here. Uh, Papola. I just have to wait for her. So we'll just charge up another shield while I wait. But not too much of it's story blind based. Yeah, that's the dangerous thing, NC. Is some games are like they're very story based. Like uh, that. I have to. Um, I have to just be aware that I can't. I might have to talk over story points a bit, and that's not really... That's not really my type of thing, in a sense. Are you being sarcastic? Wait, about which part? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. No stopping ever. Are you, do you not know what it is? Oh, the sandwich. Yeah. What type of fish is fillet a fish? Just fish and shit. You can't say fish. It's Pollock? Okay, alright. Thank you, CJ. The bridge! Blast! 
Because I was going to say, it's not it's not like a tuna. It's not a tuna sandwich. Though I am surprised they haven't made a tuna sandwich. That'd be pretty stinky, though. I feel like it's... Fish fingers and fish like that, I think they're not very smelly. But some fish can be really smelly. So, by the way, that dialogue I read out last time in Ending C... Um, I'll, I'll play this cutscene. I love playing this cutscene. I wish I had done it in Japanese, though. This is the third time we're watching it in English, though. <laughs> Look at how Kaine's makeup. You know, when I was it used to be a better quality of fish back in the day, but then they had to swap to keep the price down. Really? Is that a global thing, or was it just in Australia? I hate what my body has become. Oh, my little moon man. But there's something else there now. There's not many characters in video games where I'm like, I have to protect them with my life. Emil would be definitely one of them. Though Emil would probably protect you. That's why he's you need to protect him because he's such a good boy. Bye, my friends. Thank you for everything. Emil. For so long. All I you don't like fish fingers, NC? I'm not. I'm not a big fish person. I don't really eat much fish. Um, like I've talked about, I'm allergic to shellfish and stuff like that, and some fishes just don't agree with me. But um, fish fingers were one of those ones I grew up when I was a kid. I was actually a weird kid, and I would eat. I would. Take a frozen fish finger, eat the batter off the fish finger while it's frozen, and then slowly eat the fish. Now, that's something I don't think I've ever heard anyone ever talk about. I used to eat it like a chocolate bar. You know, with like the chocolate bar with like a Mars bar. Like if you ate a Mars bar and you ate the Mars on the outside, the chocolate on the outside. Octopus and squid are the only siege keaches I really eat. Really? Crab is okay? So yeah, I, I completely can't eat those, CJ. I can't have a uh, shellfish, I can't have octopus, crab, squid. It made it very difficult being in Japan. Um, like, just because there would be dishes sometimes you'd come across, especially with fish-based broths or um, shellfish-based broths, um, where you, it, you, it's not a fish-based dish, but they use it as a umami flavor or uh, like the base of whatever it might be, and it's just... I have a little bit, I'm like, oh, right, okay, cool. I um, can't really have much of this. <laughs> I want to see all of you again. Just one more time. Oh. This moment. I'm scared. I don't want to die. <laughs> I love, I, I... I think I think things that can do this tastefully, that sort of thing. I don't want to die, is really good. Um, I, I'm actually been watching Doctor Who, recently, and uh, I've just watched the end of David Tennant, and when he he dies as um, as he dies as the Doctor, and he goes, I don't want to die. It's not fair. I don't want to die yet. It's just. It's so good. I think a good I don't want to die scene. Alright, we're going to skip through this. We just read this last time around, but this gives a bit more context. I have a theory. Uh, squid is so damn good. Intelligence makes them tasty. I have a theory. The smarter the thing is, the better it tastes. CJ. Chat, I think CJ just may have announced how he would like to take partake on uh, human meat. And cannibals have human meat, is clo say, is close to pork. Take pigs, for instance. I wouldn't say pigs are like the smartest animal that could be compared to a human. How, how, how tasty is a gorilla, CJ? David Tennant is the best doctor. I, I, I kind of agree, Red Rover. I think Tennant is my doctor. He will always be. Like, everyone has, like, their doctor. Like, a lot of people would be Matt Smith of the modern era, I would say. Um, and... Uh... So is, uh, like in the old series, there was definitely like, there were favorites, there's people once, but there will always be people who like a particular doctor. Um, there's a fan of every doctor, but Tennant, Tennant is just like, he's my favorite. As much as I don't like where the writing goes later uh, at that point, um, but uh, definitely, um, I, I, I like Matt Smith too, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I always forget the name of the actor after um, Matt Smith. 
Like, it's sad because I... Honestly, he's a good actor, and I like what he can do with the Doctor, especially being him being a Doctor superfan, which I don't know how many people knew. Um, like, he's the one that probably grew up with the Doctor the most out of everyone that's ever been the Doctor. And, um, but unfortunately, I think the writing just really blows at a certain point. And it makes me sad about the, the new Doctor as well, like the female Doctor, um, because she's pretty cool. I like her too. Um, but, uh, yeah, the show has a weird vibe to it now. I'll have to have a Doctor Who rant at some point. I do like the series an awful lot. It's really weird. Actually, fuck it. We're going to talk Doctor Who now. Because um, it's been on my mind. I was almost going to make a Twitter thread about this. So, do you know what's funny to me? Is Doctor Who is still one of those things that I find is considered a nerdy enough thing that people don't really want to acknowledge that they're a fan of it. It's like still like, oh, it's the nerdy thing. Like, it's not cool to like Doctor Who. I'm like... I think there's still some really, really cool stuff about it. I'm a big fan. I think my two favorite like science fiction-y things might be Stargate and Doctor Who in terms of TV shows, like Western TV shows. They're just fun adventure shows. Like I've talked about it before. I'm a big Shonen fan, so and they kind of have that adventure vibe to them. That I really, really like. Fuck you, Noir. Where I lived in uh, Sydney, there was a shop that only sold Doctor Who merch. Really? That's crazy. I don't think I would ever get into merch. You know me, I'm not really a person who buys all like knickknacks and things. But it's definitely like I uh, greatly appreciate what that series can do. Yeah, you know, uh, you big dummy. I know. I'm not a big merch person either. Do you know what's funny about... I, I was thinking about streamers that have cams. I feel like streamers... It's probably a good thing I am a VTuber in a sense because streamers with cams... Uh, people that do that... Um, often... A good example is I, I've, I've discovered, I think, Crub TV. It's like a person I didn't really know about till recently. Um, like, he recently got partner. But it's so funny because it's just... It's another person where you look into the back of their, like, their room and you can see, like, just heaps of just like various game paraphernalia and stuff like that. Not to lie, behind me is my TV, my, uh, I got a wall of like, or shelves of like toys and games and stuff, and like all my consoles. But I don't have like, I don't have like, you see how some people they have like literally shelves upon shelves of like, there's a friend of mine, he has like, he's super into board games and like, uh, super into board games, super into, um, uh, like D&D and stuff like that. So his walls are just that. It's just that. And it's so much stuff. And it's like, I don't think I can, I don't think I could ever find it within myself to collect that much physical stuff. Like my computer is a walking museum, but I used to get collectors of editions names and then I realized I end up with the crap I can't find a place for. Also the quality is sometimes on collectors I don't think is great. I often wonder if I, having a bland background will affect people who would click on my stream. I don't know. It's a hard thing, CJ. I do wonder whether or not there's a degree of that. There's a there's an element of I guess click through is a funny thing, and uh, retention rate is a funny thing. That it's hard to like determine exactly what causes it. And I think some things it's just, it's really just it's it's what what type of stream you run, I guess. Like, I would definitely not say I would have mainstream appeal, that's for damn sure, but that's fine, that's not what I'm going for. <laughs> I'm currently Catman with fish on head, dancing around Shadow Lord, talking over, like, important cutscenes in a niche game. Like, trying to get ending D. So we can see secret ending. Secret ending. We're so close, chat. I'm, I'm actually really excited. I'm getting really excited. We're about to... Whoa! He doesn't use that often. Um, we're about to get a... Uh, content that I've never seen before. Come here, you idiot. There we go. 
When I return to streaming, I'm definitely going to have some cool lights or something. You, oh, CJ, you need to get the fairy lights, and then you can have like the the like the the bed that has like um uh the bed that has like the what should call it the the drape on it and stuff like that. You've just that's where he do it. Also, it surprises me how many streamers do stream from like their bedroom. Like I there's a there's an old theory I have because I like having my study. But not everyone can have a study, I understand. Some people have a lot less space. But it's one of those things where it's it's interesting where some people are, um, uh, stream deliberately out of their bedroom, it almost seems. So you can see the bed or something. I don't know. It feels like there's something there that makes it a bit more intimate, maybe. I like ending E. Ending D is definitely my favorite, but interesting. Was it your first time playing it, uh, Yoshi? I don't know, uh, Yoshi or Oreo, what am I going to call you? Um, I... Ending D is still one of my favorite moments in video games. Um, e... I, this is my, I, this is my first time seeing D like this. In this game. Because, uh, I played the original Replicant. Or Gestalt, rather. And uh, now this will be the first time Ain't that precious. seeing new content, which is ending, secret ending E. We'll call you and. <laughs> that black scrawl has almost completely taken you over. Yeah. Get some LED lights and stick them to my head. But you can have a wreath of thorns fun, with LED lights. Huh? Killing and killing and more killing. What a rush. Bye, Kaine. No, 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 no. I like I like the concept here that the only reason that Kaine and wow, this seems extreme underboob on uh, this costume. Um, it's interesting with Kaine and Tyran's relationship, where the reason why everything starts to fall apart a bit more is because. Kaine influences Tyran from being a monster and adds humanity back to him. A man who was without sin. Like, Tyran as a human was very evil. Like, he was a bad person. And then, like, uh... Now, here, we see Tyran being, like, changing to the, for the better. And then seeing Kaine becoming healed because of the uh, Nia. So both of them are being very impacted by his emotions and Kine, his good spirit. Me. The shade inside me is growing. I missed Underbuba. Soon. You just have to clip it, soon. CJ. You have to go I back and clip. Back Kine, you have to just shut up Don't clip the Underboob. <laughs> it weird thing to clip. <laughs> I don't mind this costume on Kine. It's sort of growing on me. I don't remember what I ran originally in the game. I kind of want to just listen to this in English as well. Before it comes to that, I want you to kill me. Consider it a request. You don't want to show your face until you're comfortable, but you know people are just going to watch me do art. Yeah, see. It that's the thing. I think art has a bit of a benefit that you can do that. I think if you've got like an, if you have like a, depending on your art style, you can all, like, you can go for the avatar route. You don't have to go full VTuber, but like if you just had like a image that sort of represents you, I guess. Um, cause there's a lot of, there's PNG tubers. Um, there is the, like, there's the GIF ones that basically they've tied it to like the Discord, uh, chat system. And then basically you'll just alternate between talk and no talk. Um, and that works. There's one that, uh, that's like crazy to me. I don't know if I've talked about her on stream. Um, Fudge, what is her name? She has like a sheep-like avatar. Um, she draws extremely provocative, like stylized, uh, art. Um, oh, what is her name? Her, her layout is amazing. She's got a crate. She's got real energy as a streamer. And, um... So she plays well with like sound effects and her UI is incredible. Um, very intense. It's a very intense uh, look to her stream. 
but um, she uses she uses like just a little sheep one. She actually has got full rigged VTuber avatars. I think she's got two now, but she doesn't really use them because she just she just is fine with it being like a like a open mouth closed mouth. Uh, oh fuck! I didn't. Oh, I got the timings wrong. Oh no! Now I'm stuck in the loop. Let me out. Let me out. Ah, oh, let me out. Ah, no! Let me out. Alright, there we go. I wonder if there's any streams uh, who stream from PNG. I don't think Ian has good enough there. Well, <sighs> I don't know. One way to set that. It don't matter, so don't ask. Just shut up and listen. Wait. I said listen. There's a way to save Kine's life. Alright. Alright. I actually have to concentrate because this fight is legit. Do whatever it takes. When the time comes. I'm going to pin Kaide down. And as soon as I do, you need to stab him in the heart. No, I oh. can't. Misread the timing. Don't believe me. Stand around with your thumb up your ass and watch her die a terrible death. Damn it. As I said, you can do the entire game with the Phoenix Spear chat. This thing is silly. This isn't even fully maxed out, by the way. I I didn't get I didn't get lucky on my playthroughs and to get another monster egg, but two upgrades is good. So, um, but if I had the third upgrade, everything would melt. Everything would just die. It's so crazy. I know Bob was talking about how like I could run, um, like great sword or other things like that, and I could, but it's like it's just it it's just crazy because. The sword still stands above every other weapon, even in the remake, after them changing all the weapons. <clears throat> Very nice. Now, if you want to save your precious Kaine, there are two ways to do it. Balls are bullying? <laughs> is to plunge your sword Bully balls. The They're punching back. That's what she wants Sometimes the balls punch back. Freedom from burdens, freedom from life. What's the other way? The other way? is to make her a normal human being. <sighs> All right. Now, for those who've watched my Automata stream, they know what's about to happen. They've probably know, figured out that I've talked about a very particular thing that happens in Nier. And it's time to go through with it. The ultimate sacrifice. The ultimate sacrifice that you can make in a video game. Giving everything. Are we ready to give everything? To Kaine? Here lies Kaine, the Shade. To save her, we must give herself. But that means that we will never be able to see either of them. Kaine and... Yona. Ever again. We just rescued Yona, our sister. We fought for so long. We watched Emil, Kaine... The king all sacrificed themselves to get us to this moment. But would we give everything to see Kaine live again? I would. Ending D. Kaine can take care of Yona? We'll see. Disappear from this world. Your sister, your friends, everyone in your life will forget you. You and any sign that you ever existed will be erased. But this isn't pretty intense magic for this world, by the way. Up at this point, we we've never encountered magic that works like this. If you choose this option. All your save data will be erased. It's straight up up front about it too. Are you sure about this? Without a doubt. Even if you elect against this edit at this time, you can always return to this selection by clearing the game again. Are you still sure about this? All save data will be erased and it is the only true, uh, you can only choose this option once. Are you really sure about this? This is your last chance to change your mind. Are you really, really sure about this? 
Enter the name of the player that will be erased. See ya, chat. It was fun while it lasted. Oops, why did it... Would you like to try again? I would like to try again. I, I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to do this, but it didn't do that. See ya, chat. It was fun. I wonder if you entered near there. All save files were erased. Chat. Chat, I don't feel so good. Chat. It's, it's starting. Uh, it's starting. Chat. Uh-oh. Well, we had fun, didn't we? I mean, at least I'll leave you guys a gift. Enjoy the sandwich! I think I got the timing a little off there. Right? Yona? It was you. The one who helped me, I mean. Wasn't it? Thank you so much. I'm glad you're okay. <sighs> What's wrong? Huh? I mean, you defeated the Shadow Lord and everything, but you... You don't look happy. I don't? This is a lunar tear. How pretty. <gasps> Are you crying? Um, yeah, I guess I am.
Hmm, someone left this burger here. It's mighty tasty. Hmm. Burg. <laughs> and that's the end of Nier. Figuratively and physically, he's he's gone. He's no longer with this world. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Um, there is a bit more for us to do, but that is the official ending of the original game. Nier gives his life to save Yona. Now, the hard thing about Nier and Yokotaraverse is every ending is a bit non-canonical in a sense, and it's not quite sure ever which one is the one that leads into the next game. Um, Dragon Guard was a little bit clearer. Near it's a le le lot less clearer. Um, but what I will say is that um, uh, there may be a bit more con concrete evidence after this, uh, what we finish here. Cause um, so originally there was a book that came out that insinuate Near actually came back. Like there was a way to save him and uh, the tree was a big involvement. There's a, there's a story there, um, and it does make me wonder whether or not some of those stories may come through with this uh, additional content that we're about to play through. But uh, yeah, don't know how this plays out. This is a, like a brand new, fresh playthrough for me that we're about to do. I don't know what's up ahead. We're entering unknown territory, um, and I'm kind of excited. And last memory of me is the Fisher fillet unbitten in perfect condition. A shining burger example. I wish I did have my avatar ready, honestly, CJ. I really do wish I did. Uh, that would have been fun. Um, uh, I hadn't really planned that there. That was just... <laughs> I thought about the fact that I can make, uh, make myself disappear. But, uh, yeah. I love the music box uh, cover. Or the music box cover, yeah? Of that song. The, I think Keiichi Okabe's music is still just so f wonderful, and I love it so much, and... Uh, there's still question marks in, the, in that, that credit sequence. I talked about it about an hour ago, talking about it again. Um, and we did well. We got through both ending C and ending D um, in the two hour span there. Now, I was debating about doing this. I wasn't really sure how long whatever is happening up ahead will take. So I was like, oh, well, how about I do a full day of Nier? So it gives me a chance if we don't end up finishing this after break. Um, then we can come back to this in a few days' time and I will uh, try and get whatever I'm missing here because I've, I've stretched out this little game, this game a little bit further than I would have actually liked. I love Near to Death um, and it kills me that I didn't have as much time to set aside for it. I wish this came out a tiny bit sooner just so I did have enough time to just show it the love and care it deserves. But um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the playthrough though like i just i again if you only saw parts of it and the story was not fully filled in for you i do highly suggest playing near and uh, automata um they're both fantastic i would probably suggest playing replicant before playing um uh, automata this is this is a fantastic recreation that is extremely truthful it's it, it's so perfectly similar to the original to a fault in some areas which i kind of wish they had fixed up a few things um, but at the end of the day, it would have been changing the game, which is not what people would always would have wanted. So, um, yeah, very, very happy that this, uh, happened. We'll watch that. What is that CJ? I'm, I'm now worried about what that video is. What have you linked me? <sighs> Let's see what this is. If this is titled ending E, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a get you boy. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Chat, I actually endorse the thing that CJ has list linked, but um, I actually don't suggest watching it at the same time. I still think the game is worth playing. Um, I actually do enjoy playing Nier. Unlike Dragon Guard, which is a bit of a pain in the, in the butt, I do think uh, that Clemps' videos are fantastic. Oh my god, chat, hang on, I need to move myself. And there is our reward. The fact, the proof that I have done ending D. A single lunar tear. 
A single plum floating in a man's hat of pe- with, filled with perfume. But, yeah. There we go. Now, I'm going to do something here, which is a little crazy. Actually going to change the language back to Japanese for this playthrough because I need to hear a few things. I also want to change one more thing. Uh, wardrobe. So, boy, I have... the boy, I actually only... No way! What? Interesting. I can't change a mill. Oh, no way! It's gotten rid of... Oh, it's gotten rid of the samurai. I... You've got to be joking. So you can only do samurai and kabuki. I forgot about this. This is probably how it was. I just don't remember. Um, I actually want to see what young Yoha... Uh... Nier actually looks like. Oh, well, I want the game... I can't actually change a mill and I can't change... Uh, well, I can change a dolt, but that doesn't matter. Um, I can't actually change the orbs either. So. What happened actually happened. I have lost everything. I am back to default. Nah, pick a different language? No. <laughs> what, pick Russian? Pick French? I don't know those. I also think the Japanese voice acting cuss pretty cool and I want to see more of it. But this is where we might take a quick break. Um, try something new. I could, but I need to, I need to know what Japanese young near sounds like. So I'm going to take a quick break. Um, and then when I'm back, we will start a fresh playthrough. Um, I don't know how this goes about. I don't know what is about to happen. Um, it's one of those things where I'm kind of, uh, really curious how this will play out. Um, I've actually lost the tab that I wanted. <laughs> Sorry, Jack, give me two seconds. Where'd it go? Alright. I'm going to take a quick break now. Um, and when I'm back, it's secrets time. Be right back. <laughs> 